Okay, I'm Odin's Wolf Survival, and this is Titan Stormproof Matches. These are some big, big, big beggars. <laughs> We've been playing with them at night and stuff, which you'll see later in the video of them. And they are, they're kind of impressive. These come in at 25 matches, like this. Two extra strikers, which are in plastic, which is a good thing. Some of the companies don't put in their waterproof matches and lifeboat matches. These strikers are the big, the matches themselves are waterproof. The strikers are not, and they're not strike anywhere. So once you lose your striker, you're hosed. So at least UCO, which stands for utility, comfort, and originality in the outdoors. I like their matches. They usually go above the board with what they have and what they do. All right, these, these big matches, the large lifeboat matches, they smoke quite a lot. You don't want to really ignite them inside. It's kind of a bad, bad smell that doesn't go away for a while. They smell like, oh, to me, they remind me of like burning fireworks, which stands to reason they have a lot of the same composition. Now, they're completely waterproof underwater. We did find out the only thing with any of them is the a striker head, the ignition point of it. You want to let it get burning fast into here because if you immediately strike it, stick it underwater, it puts this out for some reason. They're not, they're waterproof as it sits here, but once they start burning, it'll put them out. That seems to be all of them. Once they get down into here, they will burn underwater. You can pull them out to reignite, push them back in. The only thing that'll really put them out is to completely suffocate them in sand or dirt or something along that line, but they will burn underwater. It's, it's really impressive. I've had a few friends in the survival community that didn't believe it until they actually saw the proof of it doing it. And they were quite surprised along with everybody else. It's kind of a, you don't see it very often. You think they'd make it one of their selling points. I don't see it very much, but you know, enough with the banging on, let's burn one. You can see we got a little bit of a breeze today. These are I've had these matches for a while, so they're a little older, so they're burning a bit faster than they normally do. But they burn good. They stay lit. I don't know if you can necessarily put them out in the high wind. Okay, here we go. We'll take one and set it in there for later. Here's another. Pass the head in the water. Look at that. It's burning nuts. Back out. You can see it burst into flames. Back in. And it flames right back up again. Uko's impressive. They usually... I've never had a problem with Uko's. They burn pretty good. You can see there's a bunch of crap. This one's been hanging in the water. Okay, the only thing I do to these when I do it is I'll dry off dry off the head of it because again this part is not like in water at all so if you get it wet it just kind of hoses it that's been underwater for you saw is sitting underwater And since the compound is what is waterproof, even if it leaches up through the stick, it'll still burn. Unlike your regular match that you dip in wax, the kitchen match, it'll burn just like this, which I don't know. It will not. We'll do another video on that later down the line. But I haven't seen a match do this. And we got some rather impressive footage of it burning at night, which will be coming up real shortly. But these these big beggars, they run in at $12 for 25 on the UCO site, so that's retail, which is cheaper than the competitor, and they're right there. They're both the they're both virtually the same match. So I don't know. I like UCO. I've had really good luck with UCO. They tend to stand behind what they've got. So, 
another possibility for their bag. They make a plastic hard case for these that holds 15 matches. It's waterproof, crush proof. You could, I think I could drive my Crown Vic over it and it won't hurt it so long as it's, you know, you don't smash it with a hammer. I've stood on them. Um, actually, I have driven over one accidentally, one of the smaller ones, and it didn't break it. It just kind of distorted the whole thing, but it still worked. It distorted just a little bit, but it still worked. The cap came off. It was still waterproof. I've got it floating around somewhere. I was rather impressed. Granted, that wasn't on pavement. That was in a hard packed clay driveway, but it still impressed me when you drive a heavy car over it and it didn't break it. <laughs> there's, there's not much that'll take that. Uko. Uko matches. They're quality high-end matches. They make several varieties. This is the biggest, long, longest burning waterproof match I think that they have. And like I said, it burns underwater. That's just, that is just so cool to me. One. Hold it up to the sky. 